Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we are continuing through the James Bond, the Daniel Craig James Bond movies with Spectre. Jen and I thoroughly enjoyed Skyfall. It's probably the best Bond film that we've seen so far. How are you feeling going into the next Bond movie? I'm feeling pretty confident about these movies. They've been pretty good. I mean, all of them have been pretty good. I love Daniel Craig. Craig, Craig, fantastic as Bond. I think he has all the elements I would want to see in a Bond. Granted, there's a little bit of a different tone to him, I feel like. The action has been really good. The storylines have been very good. They've had a different female lead pretty much every movie. So I'm curious who the next one is gonna be in this one. You know, M was killed off, or it appears that she was killed off in the last one, which really bums me out. But I'm really excited to get into it. And of course, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from Gianluca Amodio, who says, Daniel Craig's Bond is very different from the other ones, but I think it's the most complete. Fashionable, elegant, great sense of humor, but also vulnerable and deep. The five movies are connected, so enjoy them. I enjoy them. Thank you so much for your comment of the day. If you want your comment featured in the comment of the day, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to check them out. I like where Bond is left off from the previous movie. We now have a new M in Ralph Fiennes. Uh, I hope we get to see more of Q. And uh, I really think that the battle, I guess, between Javier Air Bardem and Bond in the last movie was really, really fun and entertaining. I can't wait to see where they go from here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Spectre. So go lay by daddy. Oh. Go lay by daddy. Ooh. The Day of the Dead. Oh, yeah, see. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I want to go there. You never finished Coco, did you? No. Great movie. One of the can you sit down, please? This looks like it would have been quite the undertaking. Any like big crowd scenes, I'd imagine her. You get one of those extras that just looks in the camera or wants to be a smart guy. I'm digging all the outfits. I like how there's been no cuts so far. That might have been a cut actually right there. James. Get it. What a better day to celebrate life than on the Day of the Dead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a great scene. Is he actually walking on like the edge? I would guess not. So when Daniel's on the rooftop, he's actually on a rooftop in Mexico City. When I could be wrong. I'd be impressed if he really did that. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, maybe it is real. Should I? Si, el ancho. Bottoms up. Ooh. Nice. That's rough. Ooh. <laughs> I like those masks. Same. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh. That's a lot of people. Jeez, yeah. I'm wondering if that's the line of the actual extras right. and all that might be. Right. Oh! Are these extras being paid for all this? Or oh, do they do it yeah. for free? Yeah. Well, they should be getting paid, yeah. Oh my gosh. What's the pilot doing? He's not even, he's not even being effective. Why are you spinning, guy? They're like in the back, and he's like <laughs> they're trying to shake him off or something. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, James, I don't know if going after the pilot's the best. Oh, that's bad. Oh my gosh, what's he gonna do now? I don't know what your plan is, but. <laughs> I have faith that he can fly it. Yeah, maybe he knows how to fly a helicopter. But. There you go. Yeah, you guys music. He doesn't even care. Just... I know. Not even a twitch. Well done, James. I'm not sure about the helicopter physics there. If the helicopter goes upside down, it's not like a plane where it just glides. It would like. All I can say is you're wrong about helicopters a lot. Nah, that thing will plummet. That's why I don't fly in helicopters. I think that's incorrect. He will never ride on a helicopter. It was no, like, no way. oh, hey, we should take like a helicopter ride. And no. he refuses to do it. After my boy Kobe, no, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> but you ride on airplanes. Airplanes can glide. We've been but over the, this. I prefer not to ride in an airplane either. You. Given my choice of travel, a plane's not up there either. 
These intros are always so hot. I like how we both just stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Vesper? Of course it's Vesper. Oh, it's all our past peeps. Yeah. I have to tell you, Chris Cornell probably has done the best intro song. Mm. I feel like an octopus is a weird choice. Yeah, maybe it'll be relevant to something in the movie there. Barbara Broccoli. Yeah, maybe the octopus is like the organization. Oh, Sam Mendes again. Okay, let's be a good one. One of our agents decided to potter off to Mexico all on his own. Potter off. International potter off. It's good. They're itching for a chance to scrap the double O program forever. And you've just given them one. So intimidating. Mexico City, what were you doing there? He was getting some... Holiday. Poon. Okay. You are officially grounded. Very good, sir. I don't know what you're playing at, but whatever it is, it has to stop. I'd like you to meet Max Denby, head of the Joint Security Service. Well, it's it's Moriarty. Suppose we should call you C now. No, no. Max, please. He's a great actor. Uh, well, my door is always open, 007, for my employees. To bring British intelligence out of the dark ages into the light. I don't like the way he's looking at him. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. That was good. It was very good. Money, penny. Very good, sir. Wow. What was it like meeting the Queen? Forensics finally released this. What is it? Oh, look, it's uh, Eve. Skyfall. I like Eve. Perfect. Evening. Hopefully they get it on. I mean, that looks like they're... I wonder how many STDs James Bond has. Your delivery. He's very careful. Tell me that a guy that jumps off of skyscrapers and stuff is like, oh, better play it safe. Do you think he's going to work his whole safe. career just to be better taken take out by gonorrhea? <laughs> if anything happens to me, then I need you to do something. Ooh. Don't miss the funeral. I've been tracking Skiara ever since. And he is so loyal to the women that die in his life. <laughs> I heard a name in Mexico, the Pale King. That's probably me. So they used to call me in high school. Yes. That's his papa. We're gonna learn more about his past. So that sees new digs. In three days, there's a security conference in Tokyo to decide the new world order. Is he gonna uh oh, the Illuminati. Dreams of nine countries. Be careful. It's trifle slippery. Trifle slippery. Q wasn't exactly feeling at home in Whitehall. What with the new merger, here he's got something rather special planned for you. I can hardly wait. I right, get some more gadgets. Yeah. Ah, oh, 007. Please excuse the mess. Everything's a little bit up in the air. A couple of things to get through. I like Q a lot. You may feel a small Christ prick. <laughs> Smart blood. Put robots in him. Microchips in your bloodstream can monitor your vital signs from anywhere on the planet. One last thing for you and you can be on your way. Look at like their body language, all three of them. Magnificent, isn't she? Fully bulletproof, a few little tricks up her sleeve. That is sexy. Been reassigned to 009. 009? But you can have this. Does it do anything? It tells the time. <laughs> oh, one word of warning. The alarm is rather loud. That old thing is taking quite a bit of time. I said bring it back in one piece, not bring back one piece. <laughs> <laughs> I answer directly to him. I also have a mortgage and two cats to feed. Oh, then I see. The smart blood program, he may experience the odd drop in coverage during the first 24 hours, 48. After that, it should work perfectly. I'll send you a postcard. Please don't. <laughs> the man said Jay. 009 has arrived to pick up the DB10, sir. Oh. <laughs> As to how he hasn't been fired yet is beyond me. Nice looking car. It really is. Funeral. Better make my move. And you're my husband? All too brief. Yeah, I killed him. I hear the life expectancy of some widows can be very short. Cheese and crackers. Ooh. Lucky for her. You killed him, didn't you? My husband. Trust me, he won't take it personally. Be cool. Be cool, James. Be crazy. Bond. James. Bond. I feel like that's his way of like greeting people. Just like, like planting my, one on him. My guy kills her husband. I'm gonna try and sleep with his wife. The day of his funeral. James Bond. James Evelyn Bond. The man was just buried that day. I know. He sure knows what to say, though. 
Is that a child? Look, it looks like a child. The shadow kind of looks like Christoph Waltz a little bit. Dave Bautista. State your credentials. For quite a large man. Drax. Guardian of the galaxy. Oh! Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Talk about not seeing eye to eye. <laughs> All these people are like... All that excitement in Mexico City rang a distant bell. That is Christoph Waltz. Who's Christoph Waltz? From uh, Inglorious Bastards. Welcome, James. And Django. Uh oh. What took you so long? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. I'll make him house. Threw him off the balcony. Christoph Waltz, it's such a good move for villains. Au revoir, Shoshana! Guns Batista. Nice. See, I like this stuff. I like the gadgets. Ew. What? Dang it, you! <laughs> Kidding me? Got an oil slick or something in there? No. <laughs> Atmosphere. That's hilarious. I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Run him off the road, James. Oh. We're both going for a ride now, my guy. Oh no! He's gonna give him a heart attack. He's gonna kill this guy. When are you going back to Steve? Don't be long. Who was that? No one. No, it wasn't. At this time of night? It's called life, James. We should try. I don't know if James is one to talk. Yeah, he just doinked Monica Bellucci. <laughs> the wife of the man he murdered on his funeral day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put another name, will you? Okay. Gee, he's really going fast on that street. Where's all the cars? I mean, I know it's the middle of the night, but. Yeah. Like when I played Burnout 3. Oh, one of them's gonna bend that water. Got both. That's a cool shot there. Give me something. Yeah. That's cool. Here goes nothing. <laughs> what? Wait, where's he ejected to? Oh, is he still like shooting up in the air right now? That's a waste of that freaking car. He could have, he could have gotten away. What? <laughs> <laughs> we really need to watch BBC Sherlock at some point. It's time for the security services of the world to unite. We're a global power. <laughs> the vote is eight to one in favor. Is therefore not passed. Democracy. Uh oh, Q. Please tell me 007 is in London. Oh, got precisely 10 seconds. <laughs> in Chelsea. Oh. So. I wonder why Q is so loyal to Bond. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Also looks cold as a witch's titty. What? 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 Uh, it's, uh, look, the water just uh, looks uh, frigid. Expect that out of you. I know I'm from Minnesota, but I do not like the cold. Yeah, me either. I prefer cold, I guess, over heat. It's Florida heat. I like fall. Oof. Master your senses. Oof. Do me a favor, make it quick. Upstairs, Mr. White. I was at a meeting recently, and your name came up. Last month, I found thallium in my cell phone. I have a few weeks, maybe less. Tell me where he is. He's everywhere. Kissing your lover, he's eating supper with your family. You're protecting someone, your daughter. You won't find her. She's clever. And if he does, he's gonna pork her. I mean, he is. That's just that's that's what Bond does. I can keep her alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. So long. He's just like unfazed by this. 
This building will be the most sophisticated data gathering system in history. George Orwell's worst nightmare. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> this is what we need to do to keep people safe. Double O program is prehistoric. Running around out there with his license to kill. License to kill. But it looks like you still can't control your agents. I ran that check. Looks mm. like you've had dealings with him before. So maybe there's something to be said for total surveillance after all. Mm -mm -mm. Watch MI6 agents. And Big Brother. Oof. They get internet service out there. I doubt it. Our internet's been cutting in and out again, by the way. AT&T. Yep, he's gonna pork. We'll see. Excuse me. To analyze your needs, both psychological and physical. He's gonna pork. Yeah, yes. I hope you don't mind. Do you exercise? When I have to. <laughs> what is your occupation? Well, that's not the sort of thing that looks good on a form. Your father's dead. Two days ago. Did you kill him? I didn't have to. He did it himself. Why would he trust you? Because he knew that I needed something in return. What was that? Fresh cool. Oh, to find Lamedican. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. I'm sorry, we don't serve alcohol. <laughs> sir, Q. You. If you've come for the car, I parked it at the bottom of the Tiber. Well, then wants my balls for Christmas decorations. Get to the point. <laughs> he died in an avalanche with his father 20 years yes, ago. Yes, but I saw him. Find out where you came from this. I really, really hate you right now. Thank you, Q. Here you are, sir. One prolytic digestive enzyme shake. Throw that down the toilet. Cut out the middle, man. Batista. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> Why would you? I hate when they do that in movies. They walk towards you with a gun. Ooh. Oh, there you go. what the plan is here. He's got a little bit of a disadvantage here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Always wear your seatbelt. He got real lucky. Yeah. That she's not injured and he's not. That's what I was thinking, like all the stuff he's doing. He's really putting her life in danger. Yeah, he probably should have gone back and double tapped him. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't. Plot. Hello. Enchanted. <laughs> Enchanted. The chief, Quantum, Sciara, your friend, Mr. Silver. Him. Christoph Waltz. This organization. Spectre. How does she know that? Because my father was part of it. Q, go back to London. Oh, man. It's your inheritance. And now I'm going to bed. I'll go with you. <laughs> Come anywhere near me, and I'll kill you. Now he wants it even more. Of course. Oh. Vespa. He was looking for him, and he sent me here to finish the job. Nine Eyes is now officially sanctioned. The new system goes live in less than 72 hours. She orchestrated that attack or something in South Africa. They've asked me to head the new... To get them to mm -hmm. vote. He's decided to close down the double O program with immediate effect. What? No! You're a cocky little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eve, give him that dirty look. Hmm? What if I shoot you by mistake? Wouldn't be the first time. Hmm? If you look at the satellite blow up, you can clearly see this. We can't help him. But, sir, we know where he's heading. C is watching everything we do. We're only handing them more information. Delete all the smart blood files. He's on his own. I mean, he's kind of right. Yeah, absolutely. You shouldn't stare. Well, you shouldn't look like that. May I get you an aperitif? Makes me do crazy things. 
Well, we can't have that. So we'll have that. We always have a choice. I'll drink to that. <gasps> oh! Oh! Tista. Oh. oh! They even used a little slap sound effect. They are just destroying this car. Nice train. Oof. <laughs> Is she gonna come in and shoot him or something? Where's the staff? Oh, James. Oh no. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. What do we do now? Pork. Yeah. I mean, I guess they have nothing better to do. Wow, well, yeah, that's one way to look at it. Meanwhile, cut to Batista. <laughs> on the side of the train. Staff of the train is fine with that. Just go back to their rooms. Are you having second thoughts? Too late now. 1948, Rolls Royce saw the wraith. I wish they made cars look like this still. I want you to know just how excited we all are to finally meet you. Just one more thing. Look at this guy. Oh, you be careful with that. What? Are they saying it's like his brother? I mean, that was the picture of him and his dad. Yeah, and baby Kristoff. He has requested you enter it alone. Of course. Touch it. You can touch it if you want. If I had a nickel. The very meteorite which made this crater a huge, unstoppable force. Except it did stop, didn't it? Can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to this. You were just a girl when I saw you first. I came to your home once to see your father. What is this place? Information. So, James, why did you come? I came here to kill you. Oh, 1984. This is live? Live and direct. 1620 GMT. French oh. have a saying. It's the fate of glass to break. It's touching. Don't you think? I'm guessing our little friend C, he's one of your disciples. I could say that. What does he get out of it? He's a visionary like me. Visionaries. You came across me so many times and yet you never saw me. You interfered in my world, I destroyed yours. I think it was coincidence that all the women in your life ended up dead. Oh, jeez. Vespa Lynn, for example. Has he told you about her? Your beloved M. Gone forever. Me. It was all me, James. The author of all your pain. Oh, I love Christoph. I would love to see them rehearse that. No. Look, at James is going to come in with his Father. girlfriend. That a terrible event can lead to something wonderful. Turn this off. This is important. I said turn it off! Oh. Wow. Look at him, Madeline. Look at me. I mean, he told her Yeah, he told her this. everything. You can say 15% or more. This, like, whole scene in this, like, location is reminding me of Don't Worry, Darling. Oh. Like how it's in the middle of the desert. Yeah. James Why is he not wearing any socks? Recently, when a man was deprived, <laughs> I'm going to penetrate to where you are. What is one this of, paycheck? That's one of his lines too. Just with the subtlest of men. Oh, it is paycheck. Okay, on with it then. Come on, James. Uh... <laughs> Madeline, oh. here to help out at all. James, he had lost his parents when he was young. But did you know that it was my father who helped him through this difficult time? So he was his father figure? Uh, and that explains the picture of all three of them. So they weren't actually biologically right. related. Maybe his dad loved Bond more than him. 
cuckoo hatches inside another bird's nest. This cuckoo made me realize my father's life had to end. Jeez. So thank you, cuckoo. <laughs> Hello, pussy. Hello, pussy. That's stuff of Blofeld. Catchy name. Oh, dear. <laughs> What? She moves quick, huh? Doesn't time fly? Oh, Ooh. Christoph! Oh, luckily it unlocks him. Yeah. What do you do if he's like, oh, dang it? Okay. <laughs> nice. They open the gates for him. Yeah. They got a, a helicopter ready, ready to go. Nice. Jeez. It's not over yet. That was a cool explosion. Oh, the destruction. Another happy ending. So, what do you have for me, 007? The recently deceased head of Spectre. Ernst Stavro Blofeld, about to take control of his very own global surveillance system that he built when I came under our noses. It's good to have you back, 007. Sir? Thank you. Okay. All right. Maybe it was, uh, they knew they were being watched. <laughs> yeah, they saw that coming. Ugh. Oh, you. How did he? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> How embarrassing. They put a single zip tie around his arms. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they gave him an arrow and everything. Not a good feeling being watched, is it? I'm going to bring you in. On what grounds exactly? Poor taste in friends. Uh, not illegal. Chaos. He always plays a bad guy. M stands for moron. And now we know what C stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Careless. Oh. That's not the C not I was going to go same. for. I'd have loved to have seen the goons setting that up. Like Elmer's glue and sticking it on those. No, no, no. Come on, Q. <gasps> um. You're a hard man to kill, Bluefield. Ouch. My wounds will heal. What about yours? Did you miss me? No, but I know someone who does. Where is she? Yeah, well, a big mistake. It's for you to find out. You have a choice. Die trying to save her, or save yourself and live with the pain. Is that same creepiness? I've been through it, haven't I? <laughs> Madeline! Why can't you just face it, Anne? You don't matter anymore. But something has to. Come on, Ralph. Bye. Sucks to suck. He got his comeuppance. Well, that's freaking lucky. Oh. That's such a massive, like, building. Uh. Thanks. Why is that there? Come on! I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you set it up early. Oh. Goodbye, James Bond. So that's impressive if he's hitting that mm -hmm. helicopter from that far away. On a moving and it's platform. at night. At night, moving platform, both him and the target. Oh! This is why I don't fly in helicopters. Don't worry, it's got auto rotation. You'll be fine. 
What I said was that it's not just gonna drop out of the sky, which is what you inferred no, earlier. No, 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 I said if it does, like if the engine just stops. It's not just gonna drop out of the sky. <laughs> he actually is fine. Problem, Christoph? Oh no. So this is a Terra Celeste Mallory, double O section. Oof. <laughs> Finish it. Out a bullet. And besides, we've got something better to do. Don't you mean someone? <laughs> Under the Special Measures Act of 2001, I am detaining you on behalf of Her Majesty's government. There's just one thing I need. All right. All right, just finished watching Spectre. Real quick, brief thing. That ending sequence where Bond shows up and Q's there and he's like, Bond? And he's like, I thought you'd gone. And he's like, I have, there's just one more thing I need. And he drives off. I worked at a movie theater back in old Crestview, Florida, when this movie came out. I would go in there and I'd be the one that was like cleaning up the floor and all that stuff. So I have seen that ending, God, I don't know how many times when I worked in that movie theater. Right when I saw that sequence, I was like, oh, I, I've seen this countless times. So a little fun fact. Overall, I, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was fun. I think Sam Mendes is the perfect director for both Skyfall and Spectre. The idea of a brother-like figure opposite James Bond, a little bit more about his past was really interesting as well. The love interest girl, Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. I think they were trying to give him like an actual love interest, kind of like how Vesper was, because he seemed to actually have sincere feelings for her instead of his little flings that he has. I, I like that. It was nice to see him kind of be like, well, maybe one day I could get out and have a woman and all this, like an actual relationship and so it was nice to see that side of James Bond. Christoph Waltz, great. Absolutely love it. He's he's such a perfect villain, such perfect casting. I can't get enough of Christoph. Overall, I've really enjoyed this one. What did you think? I thought it was okay. I actually enjoyed Skyfall better. The love interest for this one, Madeline, I actually liked Vesper better than her. However, I do appreciate that Madeline's character was very off-put by Bond in the beginning because normally they make it so that these love interests are just completely like blinded by him and it's an immediate thing. I like that they let that play out a little more than normal. But so Bond always gets the girl in the so end. So kudos to them for doing that. There were a couple things in this movie, like some coincidences that I was just like, what? Like for instance, when he rescues Madeline, there's this net that just catches them. And the fact that he found her in the allotted time, literally right next to him, uh, just a little too unbelievable. I don't know why, but it bothered me. Mr. White, I couldn't remember if he was in the first one and the second one, or if he was just in the second one. Batista was in this one. I enjoyed him a lot. He was, he just kept going. Oppenheiser. Christoph Waltz. Yeah, well, okay. Christopher Watts. Chris, Christoph Waltz? Christoph What's Waltz. his name? I liked him. He was eerie, just like he was in Inglorious Bastards. Kind of slimy, but also oddly likable. I liked him, but I didn't enjoy him as much as Javier. I thought Javier, honestly, has been the best villain up until now. There's just something about him. A little more of the gadgets, as far as like the, the car, which was interesting. Our new M played more of a important role, I would say, in this film, which I appreciate. Q, I got to see a lot more of Q, which I've been wanting to see because I think he's such a great character and he fits. The actor that plays him is perfect, so I really enjoy that. Plenty of action scenes, but I don't feel like this one was as amped up as Skyfall. Skyfall was just every single second there was something going on. I do appreciate the idea of this storyline of surveillance kind of being abused and manipulated to this covert group of villains um, advantage. I like the idea of that because the thought of surveillance being used as a weapon exclusively is terrifying. And I think that 
M and Bond did a really good job and Q conveying how disastrous that would be. And having C as this, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? What's going on? I enjoy that. That, that part I did enjoy, but overall, I think it just does not line up with Skyfall. Going from Skyfall to this was a little rough. There was a couple scenes, CGI, that were, that were a little rough. The storyline of Bond and Walt having this kind of brother scenario, I don't know if I like it. I think that's something that could have gone well, but the way that they did it, or the way that they exposed it was a little weird, I guess. I think it had more potential because we've never heard of him before this movie, correct? Okay, so they mentioned that he supposedly died in an avalanche. That's what Bond believes, but there's no filler prior to that. And so I wish they would have got his perspective or he would have commented on it a little more than they actually did. I think I would have gone with that storyline a little more, but it was really just Walt's talking about it. So that had potential and they just kind of fell flat with that. Other than that, I thought it was a, uh, a pretty good Bond film, but just not, not to where Skyfall was. I like the idea of Bond having a brother or a brother-like person. Felt the motivation was fairly weak. The idea that Bond's parents died and he goes and stays with this other guy who prefers Bond over his biological son. I mean, that sucks for Christoph Waltz for sure, but to the extent that he goes to to get revenge on Bond, I don't know about that. I like the idea of there being this overarching organization or person that's been orchestrating things Things throughout the other movies, except for Javier Bardem in Skyfall. I would have liked for him to have been truly independent and on his own, and now knowing that Javier was still under some type of control or influence by Christoph Waltz, I feel like takes away a little bit from Skyfall, in my opinion. So I didn't like that part of it, but everything else I liked a lot. I agree, I don't think it's quite as good as Skyfall. I still prefer it definitely to Quantum. I think it's probably as good, maybe a little, maybe, probably as good as Casino Royale. What would you rate this one? Uh, it still had all the things that I look for for a Bond movie. They always surprised me with some interesting storyline, whether I think that they were executed well or not. They still come up with some juicy storylines and it always makes it interesting. The villain I thought was a pretty good follow-up to Javier, although I still prefer Javier, honestly. I think that he was just perfect. You know, I miss M. I can't, I can't, it doesn't feel the same without her. Ralph Fiennes is great as the new M, but I really, really love Judy Dench and I think that she's perfect. So I did miss her in this movie. I think I'm gonna go with a, uh, I'm gonna go with an eight. Another thing, this movie was being made around the time the Snowden stuff was coming out and we were learning just how much we were actually under surveillance as uh, at least American citizens. I don't know about over in London. There's a few movies at the time were kind of capitalizing on that, this Big Brother Orwellian 1984 type of thing. So it's, I like seeing that in this movie because it's, whereas we you don't think about it so much now, even though it's probably worse than it was then, this was when it was like really in public uh, limelight. Last thing, the guy who played C, uh, Moriarty in the BBC Sherlock, which we need to watch at some point, is really, really good. I love him, I think that he's great. He's a fantastic actor and he always plays like a very good bad guy. So I wasn't expecting to see him in this and that was really a nice surprise for me. I, th I, I view this movie pretty favorably. Um, not as good as Skyfall, but still pretty good. I'm gonna go with an 8.5. But of course, those are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know some of your thoughts down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'd love to check them out. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the final Daniel Craig James Bond movie. Uh, also check out Patreon. You can watch these early. You can also watch the full length reaction with us as well. If you wanna watch the whole movie, you can do that over there as well. You'll just need your own copy of Spectre to do so uh, and sync up the footage and we'll have a good time. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We will catch you in the next video. Take care.